Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spohr here today with my Bold Backgrounds with Polychromos featuring amazing new background stamps from the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero March release. These backgrounds are truly the stars of the show. I did a couple of different cards, so I actually made four backgrounds. They're exactly the same, but on a couple of them I just used sentiments, and on a couple I used some coordinating images and things from the release as well. All of those products are gonna be listed below in the supplies, but I will be creating the kind of simpler version for my video today. So the backgrounds are created with these gorgeous background images. I am using the Parasol Pattern Bold Prints first on some gorgeous Cranberry Hero Hues cardstock. I am prepping that cardstock with a powder tool because we're gonna heat emboss the image onto the background. I also highly recommend using a Misty for perfect placement here. I did move my paper away from the corner so that I got a good crisp image clear to the edge of the paper. To keep the paper in place then, since I'm not using the magnet, I like to just use a little bit of adhesive there on the paper in my Misty to hold it still. And I did double stamp it because this image had not been stamped before. I'm using the Hero Arts Embossing and Watermark ink to stamp that image. It is extremely detailed. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous background image. In fact, I am in love with all of the background stamps part of that My Monthly Hero release. Absolutely stunning backgrounds. I am using then some Hero Arts Gold Embossing Powder to emboss this. The gold on that deep, rich cardstock is really what makes this beautiful image stand out. I love any color of embossing powder here, but when I thought about how I wanted these particular backgrounds to look um, with the theme and everything this month, I really felt like gold was the direction I wanted to go rather than white. Especially white can tend to maybe pick up some of your colored pencil marks and the gold won't. So I really went with a little bit darker color here and the gold looks amazing. Now you're gonna wanna make sure and buff away any of that remaining powder on the background so that um, you have that beautiful, bold cranberry color of the cardstock. I am very carefully making sure every bit of this background image is heat embossed and it's gorgeous as is. I mean, this is a stunning background. You could add some images on top of this, add a sentiment on top of this and it's gorgeous. One of my very favorite things to do though, when you have a embossed anything on dark cardstock, but especially a background, is to color with polychromos. They are stunning on a dark cardstock background. My favorite thing to do is to take my white pencil and put a layer of white down first and then color over that with my colors I'm using. For this particular background, I am sticking to pink parasols, uh, yellow, and orange. So that's kind of my color combination and then set against that red background. That color combination just really spoke to me and it ended up looking stunning. I really, really love this. Um, you can definitely switch that up to any color combination you prefer, but you can see how the white underneath really makes the color on top pop. Plus you can use that white then to kind of go back in and blend out. I will be sharing the majority of the coloring here on screen, but it is just repetition over and over. The smaller the space, a little bit harder, I think, for the detail to show. There are gonna be some parts maybe at the tops of the parasols that I am just simply not gonna color because you're not really gonna see that. I'm trying to keep the majority of the color on the biggest, biggest part of the image. I hope that makes sense. But by the time you get all of these colored in, it's really stunning. Now this technique does take a little bit of time. Um, I think the coloring for both backgrounds took probably around a couple hours, probably an hour per background. So it is a bit more of a time consuming type of project. Obviously for 
my purposes, I did do this on camera, but when I did the extra backgrounds, I took them and I was watching TV, um, listening to an audiobook, all just because I worked on them over over time. But you can definitely, um, it's a great project to work on if you're watching, you know, movies with your kids or um, you're just kind of hanging out or maybe you're listening to an audiobook or a podcast or something like that. I love having kind of what I call a quote unquote mindless project when I'm doing those activities as it really just helps speed up the time. I'm one who likes to keep my hands busy and so I often want to have something to do while I'm watching TV or a movie and this is a great one for that. So I'm going to continue to color these. I highly recommend having a pencil sharpener readily available for your colored pencils. Polychromos definitely do, in my opinion, the best job over dark cardstock. That's why you're getting such fantastic results and you can really see the color. And by adding that white underneath the color, it just really makes the the colors we're using pop against that dark. I'm just going to kind of continue to work out from the first couple parasols I colored until I have the entire background complete. Part of the reason that I didn't like go through and do a whole bunch of pink and then do a whole bunch of yellow and then orange is I tried my best to not have two of the exact same parasol colors right next to each other and it was easiest for me to just kind of pick one color, pick the next one next to it color, and work out from that central location. But you can do it however you want. Um, definitely there is no right or wrong here. As more and more of these beautiful parasols get colored though, you can definitely see how incredible and amazing this background is going to look. Now, the only background I didn't do this particular technique today is the final one, the kind of um, cloud one. It's gorgeous. It kind of looks like little clouds and rainbows, but it would be phenomenal with this technique as well. So definitely keep that in mind. Plus, there are all kind of background stamps from probably most of your favorite companies that this technique would work with. So think about some of you, those favorite image background stamps that you have on hand. This would be a fantastic project to work on with those. I'm going to just kind of finish coloring out the rest of these, hopefully um, fairly quickly here. I might speed it up just a little bit to get through this and move on to the next background since this is simply repetition of these same three color combinations. Another tip when working in such small spaces as each of these little individual um, lines of the parasols is to make sure that you're continually sharpening your colored pencils. It really makes such a huge difference in the overall finished look and being able to stay within the lines. So you will notice that I am sharpening and resharpening over and over to keep my pencils at a nice fine tip. Next, we're gonna go to the Koi Pond and this is another bold print background, gorgeous. We are going to then be stamping and embossing this on the amazing Adriatic Hero Hues cardstock. It's a gorgeous dark teal that is simply stunning. And I picked this definitely to work with the particular background stamp. I wanted it to be this beautiful blue behind because I thought that the orange uh, and the green that I'll be using for the different elements would really pop against this dark teal and it ends up being phenomenal as well. Um, I really thought after I did the parasol background that I couldn't possibly love a, the other background as much and I ended up loving them both equally. Um, they turned out even better than I could have imagined. Again, 
stamp that embossed with gold. We're going to lay down that nice white layer first before we add our color on top. All of the little water rings coming out then, I am going to do some darker blues to those. But we've got a few different colors here. So definitely the same orange combination that we had before. But then we're going to have some greens, we're going to have blues, and then even a little purple for the flowers. And all of that set against the Adriatic cardstock just makes this background so special and beautiful as well. Now, on my original two cards, I actually implemented some designs from a couple of the other stamp sets released with the My Monthly Hero. These are all add-ons, so these are all going to be things that are going to continue to be available. And while I, I liked those and I really wanted to use those images, I ended up thinking the background, it kind of took away, not totally, but a little bit from the background. And I really, really wanted the background to shine. So that's kind of why I made a couple of more cards to show you another way and probably more of what I had in my mind when I was creating these. And that is the background is by far the star of the show for both of these cards. I wanted that background to be the focal point. And then the sentiment, of course, um, is just going to be stamped and embossed on vellum and framed up with some gold for the simpler versions with some simple either dewdrops or crystal clear sequins as the only embellishment. And that was something that kind of came to me over time. As I mentioned, the first couple cards, I, I really wanted to use as much as possible and I really wanted to use the cute little kitty. So that was kind of uh, my thought process there. The Kittens and Kimonos stamp set, which is darling. I will be sharing some other cards with that a little bit later on. But um, I think keeping the focus on the background really, really worked for me. It simplifies it just a little bit. And with all of this work, I really wanted to keep as much as possible. And you'll notice that I did that in both versions. Um, I tried to really keep as much of that colored background with only a tiny bit being removed because you do all this work, you definitely don't want to discard that. The green, doesn't that look amazing against the Adriatic um, cardstock? Absolutely love that. And of course, the fish are just phenomenal in that orange with the teal. I always like to keep a few extra white polychromos colored pencils on hand because when I color with these, one of my favorite techniques is always coloring on dark cardstock. I almost probably 99% of the time put a layer of white underneath and because of that, I use a lot of white. So I have a little stock of extra white colored pencils so that I always have them on hand because I am sharpening them all the time and they do eventually run out. None of my other colors have I had to replace, but that white I have um, a few extras. So we're just kind of going through adding in that white on the pond, a dark blue, a lighter blue, all of those colors I am using are listed across the top of the screen for both cards. And then I'm going to kind of break that down in the blog post that coordinates with this video so that it'll have the colors for the fish listed out, the colors for like the lily pads and, and the flower and all of the things, and then the parasols. So if you want to know exactly which colors for each individual element I used, you can find that information listed out in the blog po post that coordinates with this video. Once I have all of this done, we're going to do the simple sentiments that I mentioned here a second ago. That is going to be stamping some sentiments from a couple of the add-on stamp sets on some die cut vellum. 
I did die cut two vellum rectangles from the Simon Says Stamp Basic Rectangles Die Collection. It's the second smallest rectangle die from that collection. And then, so awesome, the A2 Thin Frames from Simon Says Stamp, the second smallest from that, it die cuts a little thin frame that will fit right on top of our vellum rectangle, and I die cut that from Gold Mirror cardstock. So that's some Tonic Studios cardstock. We are then going to stamp our sentiments. The wishing you an abundance of happiness that we're using on the parasol card is from Kittens in Kimonos. And the sentiment sending love and harmony is from the Tranquility stamp set. Lots of fantastic sentiment options in the My Monthly Hero release um, and add-on release that really will work back to any of our backgrounds and a lot of the images and things from the add-on stamp sets. So we're stamping with the embossing and watermark ink on those vellum rectangles and this time I want the sentiment to pop. I really felt like gold would blend a little bit too much into the frame or the background. So we are embossing with Hero Arts white fine detail embossing powder. And you can see just laying that on the background. It's really going to show up. One of the great things about using vellum is that while it will kind of mute whatever we're laying it over, you're still going to be able to see the background through it, but the white will pop enough that it's going to be very, very easy to read. The second one, Sending Love and Harmony, as I mentioned, is from the Twang, Twang, how about Tranquility stamp set, and this has some fantastic sentiments. I mean, there's even a, a beautiful happy birthday sending positive vibes your way, I think is great. Wishing you true happiness. I cherish every moment together and enjoy the journey. So, so beautiful. We're going to emboss this one. And then because these vellum rectangles are small, I ran them through a Xyron sticker maker to make the back completely sticky and lay completely flat against our bold polychromos backgrounds. And then we'll just take a little liquid adhesive to glue the gold frame in place right over top. You could run that through your Xyron sticker maker if you wanted to as well. I tend to not like to do fine detailed things in mine because I think it kind of causes some strings. But for vellum pieces like this, works phenomenal. So I'm just going to pop that in place. And then you'll see how the little gold frame fits right over top. I have a fine tip applicator on my Scrap Perfect, or the Scrap Perfect applicator on my Ranger Multi Matte Medium. And then we're going to just carefully line that up right over top. And that helps frame up the sentiment beautifully. Simple and gorgeous. We're going to set that aside to completely dry. And we will work on the other one. I did end up using a ruler because I felt like it kind of helped me guide me and line things up a little bit easier. So there's a little tip if you want to make sure you're getting it straight. Same thing as the first background, just putting a little liquid adhesive back behind our thin gold cardstock frame. Popping that in place. And then I decided to finish my backgrounds with very simple embellishments. Um, the cards where I actually use some images, I use some Nouveau Crystal Drops. That is a fantastic option as well. I decided to use some little Pretty Pink Posh droplets, clear droplets on the Sending Love and Harmony Koi Pond. They really work well, I felt like, with the theme of this card. And I wanted to, again, just add sparkle to the parasol background without actually adding, um, I don't know, color, I guess, to it. So we're going to use some sparkling clear sequin mix, the little flat sequins, for that. And just kind of scatter them throughout the background. Adds a little bit of sparkle, fun, and embellishment without overwhelming the card design. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two bold embossed backgrounds colored in with Polychromos colored pencils. The supplies I use to create both cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Hero Arts My Monthly Hero products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.